Have you heard of CMOS? It's going viral for its potential ability to promote weight loss, but does it really work? Stay tuned because I am sharing everything you need to know about CMOS and weight loss. I'm Erin here with Healthy Mom Happy Family and I have been hearing from more and more of my clients and viewers that CMOS is the latest weight loss supplement, but is that really true? Well, today I am diving into the research to give you all the facts so that you can decide if CMOS is right for you and if it truly helps with your weight loss efforts. But before we get started, I want to remind you that if you are looking for ways to naturally improve your blood sugar levels and you want tips and tricks for living with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a new video. And if you were looking to learn everything that you were never told about managing blood sugar levels and reversing insulin resistance, then I'd love to invite you to check out my signature program, The Blood Sugar Fix. This is where I walk you through exactly what you need to do to lower your blood sugar, increase your energy, and achieve your healthiest self in as little as six weeks, in the easiest way possible. Now, all the details on how to join me are linked below, so definitely check that out. Okay, so let's dive in and look at what CMOS is and if it really helps to support weight loss and the pros and cons to the sea vegetable. So first, let's talk about what sea moss actually is. So sea moss is a type of seaweed that grows near the seabeds, especially on the northern and western coasts of Europe, and it is rich in a large amount of vitamins, including vitamin A and C, E, K, and B12. And sea moss has actually been used for centuries to treat a variety of ailments, from asthma to thyroid issues. And it's also high in dietary fiber, so that can help to promote satiety as well as aid in digestion. So let's check out the actual nutrition profile of sea moss. In a one half cup serving of sea moss, you're getting 16 calories, three and a half grams of carbohydrate, and two and a half grams of fiber. You're getting just a little bit over a half a gram of protein and very little fat, only 0.1 gram of fat. But in that half cup serving, you're getting a 97% daily value of vitamin A. So you're getting a really rich source of vitamin A in sea moss. Now let's check out the benefits of sea moss. Now aside from its potential weight loss properties, which I know you've heard about, sea moss is also rich in antioxidants, and that can help to protect your cells from oxidative damage and really to help promote overall health. It's also an excellent source of a variety of minerals, including calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium, and potassium, and these all help to support your body's natural functions. Now, it's also believed that sea moss can support your immune system and even reduce inflammation and aid in detoxification in your body. So now let me answer the question that I know you tuned in for. Can sea moss actually help you to lose weight? Now, there's been several studies that have suggested that sea moss may be beneficial for weight loss due to its fiber content and its potential appetite suppressing effects. So one of the great benefits of sea moss is that it is so low in calories, only 16 calories and a half a cup. So it's a really great way to add bulk to your meals and add volume and help you to feel more full while providing very little calories. That can lead to a calorie deficit, especially if you're eating smaller portions somewhere else during the day. And that of course leads to weight loss. Now, when you're thinking about sea moss and how it promotes fullness, well, one of the ways it does this is it contains a type of dietary fiber known as soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is a great way to increase fullness after eating and decrease hunger. Soluble fiber also helps to slow down the absorption of sugar and fat in digestion. Now, when it does this, this can help to prevent blood sugar and insulin spikes. So that gives you more steady energy, it helps to curb cravings, and that is another way that consuming sea moss helps with appetite regulation and weight management. Now, outside of appetite, can sea moss actually reduce body fat on its own? And there is some belief that this is possible. So sea moss is believed to reduce body fat by helping to increase energy expenditure and promote thermogenesis. And that is really the process of burning fat for fuel in the body. Now, why this happens is that there is a type of fiber found in sea moss that has been shown to boost metabolism and actually aid in the breakdown of fat cells. 
Now, again, this is going to be very dependent on how much sea moss you're actually consuming. Um, and there has been small amounts of research on this, not enough that I can say this will impact everybody in the population, but it's something to consider. Now, the other benefit of CMOS is that it has been linked with improving insulin sensitivity. And when we become more sensitive to insulin, we don't need as much of it. And that can also help with reducing fat accumulation in the body. Because when we're in a period of insulin resistance and our body is producing more insulin to force sugar into the cells, insulin actually stores fat versus burns it. So it's harder to lose weight if you have insulin resistance and higher levels of insulin in the body. Now, another health benefit of CMOS I wanted to point out are the prebiotic benefits. So CMOS is a natural prebiotic. And what that means is that it provides food for the beneficial bacteria in your gut. And that in turn can provide a healthy balance of bacteria and improve digestion. Now, when you think about prebiotics, they play an important role in supporting your immune system and reducing inflammation in the gut. And since improved gut health has been linked directly with improved body weight and body composition, you can see where the tie-in of getting more prebiotics into your diet, like those found in sea moss, may potentially aid further weight loss. Now, another benefit is that when your gut microbiome is in balance, this can help to regulate the hormones involved in appetite and satiety. So that leads to improved digestion. It's also helping you to reduce your calories consumed and all of that re results in a calorie deficit, which leads to weight loss over time. Now, another benefit of these beneficial bacteria in the gut is that they also help to break down some of the fat and sugar that you consume. And that's helping them to prevent being stored as excess body fat as well as helping to calm down inflammation, which we know has been linked directly with obesity. Now, before you go and consume a whole bunch of sea moss, I wanna to talk to you about the potential side effects of sea moss. Now, generally sea moss is considered safe to consume, but it can cause some side effects like bloating, nausea, and diarrhea, especially if you're consuming large amounts and you haven't consumed it before. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that sea moss has a high level of iodine and you should avoid consuming large amounts of sea moss because you don't want too much dietary iodine. An excessive dietary intake of iodine can actually have a toxic impact on the body and that can cause symptoms of nausea and vomiting. It can cause you to form goiters. It can cause hyper and hypothyroidism and even potentially increase the risk of thyroid cancer. So excessive consumption is not recommended. Now, another thing that is very important when you're thinking about consuming sea moss is you have to look at the source because sea moss can contain toxic metals. It can be a source of mercury and lead and even arsenic. So you have to make sure if you are choosing sea moss as a supplement, you want to make sure it's coming from a trusted and reputable brand that has removed these metals so that there are not no contamination, especially if you're consuming it in larger quantities. Now, if you're on any type of supplement or medication, you also have to think about the potential interactions with CMOS. It's very important that you consult with your doctor before you start adding CMOS to your diet, especially if you're taking it in a supplement form, if you have any underlying medical conditions or you're already taking medication. And this is especially important if you are someone who's taking blood thinning medications. So blood thinner medications can be directly impacted by CMOS because CMOS already offers blood thinning properties. And so that can be a contraindication between taking CMOS, consuming it in its whole form or as a supplement, and also taking those medications. So let's talk a little bit about CMOS and how to consume it. So should you consume CMOS raw? And the thing about CMOS is you really don't want to consume it raw because it does contain toxins that can be harmful when ingested. So the best way to consume CMOS is to soak it overnight and then rinse it thoroughly before you consume it. CMOS should also be cooked before eating because it can contain bacteria that can make you sick. So cooking can help to kill this bacteria to reduce the risk of foodborne illness. So let's talk about who should avoid CMOS. Now, CMOS has not been tested in pregnant and breastfeeding women. So for now, my recommendation would be that it is best to avoid CMOS if you are trying to get pregnant, if you are currently pregnant, or if you're lactating until more research is done. Now, for anybody who already has an existing health condition, especially those who have thyroid disorders, high blood pressure, or on blood thinning medications, you have to remember that CMOS contains high levels of iodine, sodium, and potassium. 
And before making any change or adding any change to your diet or any supplementation form of CMOS, you wanna speak with your physician, you wanna speak with your registered dietitian, your pharmacist, and make sure that CMOS is safe for you and that it is not gonna interact with any current medications you have or any potential health issues that you have. Now, I know a lot of you tuning in have type 2 diabetes or you have insulin resistance, so you might be wondering, is CMOS beneficial to people with type 2 diabetes? And here's the thing to note. So if you've been diagnosed with insulin resistance, prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, you might want to consider adding CMOS to your plate because it's a sea vegetable and it has been linked with improved insulin sensitivity, which means it might help with blood sugar regulation. Now, another benefit about CMOS is, as I mentioned before, it's a natural prebiotic that helps to improve gut health. It can help to reduce body-wide inflammation. And all of those things can be beneficial when it comes to type 2 diabetes and blood sugar management because it can really help regulate the hormones involved in appetite control, helping to boost metabolism, helping to accelerate the breakdown of fat cells. But remember, if you are on medication for managing type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance, you have another comorbidity like hypertension or hypothyroidism and are on medications for that, then it might be contraindicated for you. So there's no way to give you an actual recommendation. The best recommendation when it comes to CMOS is to speak to your physician about your own individual needs and to see if there is a risk or a benefit and what would be better for you. For some people, the risks outweigh the benefits and then it's best to avoid. Okay, so if you are interested in buying CMOS, let's talk about where you can actually find it. So there are a variety of health food stores and online retailers where you can get CMOS. My recommendation when you're buying it is to look for varieties that are organic, that are free from preservatives, and that have been sustainably harvested. Now you're also gonna wanna be sure to really be careful about reading the label before purchasing CMOS. You wanna know if it's raw or if it's cooked. It should always be cooked, it should always be rinsed before consuming. So if you're buying raw sea moss, you wanna make sure that you are rinsing it, you're soaking it overnight, you're cooking it, because you wanna get rid of any potential bacteria that can make you sick if it's consumed raw. Okay, so you're probably wondering how you actually consume sea moss, right? So if you want to make sea moss part of your diet, there are a couple different ways you can add it to your plate. One of the most common things you're gonna see, especially when you're searching for sea moss online, is you're gonna see it in supplement form. It could come as a capsule, it could come as a gummy. You can also find sea moss in a powder or a gel form. And these are really easy to add into things like smoothies or even put them in yogurt or soup. So there are a variety of ways to consume sea moss in that capacity. Now you can actually get sea moss in its whole form too. And this is a great way to add it to dishes to really gain the fiber benefits, to gain that volume along with the nutrition. So sea moss can go into soups, it can go on salads, it can go on side dishes, smoothies. Um, there's a lot of ways, and I actually have a sea moss drink recipe I'll link to below, you can check out. But just remember, the most important thing is that sea moss should always be cooked before you consume it, because it can have toxins, it can have bacteria, and if you're consuming it raw, it can make you sick. So always soak it overnight, make sure to rinse it, make sure it's cooked before consuming. All right, so let's talk about the bottom line on sea moss and weight loss. So at the end of the day, you know, sea moss, it's a vegetable, it's a sea vegetable. So it is rich in nutrients, it's high in fiber, it's low in calories, and it actually has some health benefits that can promote weight loss. This is gonna depend on how much you're consuming, and because it is very high in iodine, you don't wanna consume a high amount. So although some sea moss can help improve satiety, it can help with hunger and cravings, might boost metabolism and improve thermogenesis in the body, which is burning fat for fuel, it's not going to be a cure-all or a miracle cure, but it's certainly something that if it fits within your diet, you don't have you know, any kind of contraindications for it, it's something to consider. But I do want you to remember that if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, if you are on any kind of medication, you're taking another supplement, talk to your doctor first, make sure it's appropriate for you, and make sure there are no contraindications to using CMOS. It's always exciting to find new weight loss supplements on the market, but remember, this is not a magic pill. It still has to be part of all of your other efforts, you know, improving your overall diet, getting more physically active, managing stress, improving sleep. That is gonna be the big picture that is needed in order to lose weight and keep it off. So 
long term. And the other thing I just want to know on sea moss is that it definitely looks promising, but the research on the sea vegetable is still pretty much preliminary. There's not really a lot of conclusive research. It hasn't been tested on large bodies of population over a long period of time. Um, so we don't really know the long term weight loss and body composition improvements. So there are potential benefits, but there are side effects as well. You know, large amounts can cause GI discomfort. It can interact with certain medications. So before getting started, have an honest conversation with your physician, talk about your individual needs, what you're considering using CMOS for, and whether or not it's right for you. So let me know. Have you tried CMOS? Are you going to try CMOS? I would love to know. Comment below and let me know. And if you found today's video helpful, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss new tips, tricks, and recipes. And if you were looking to learn everything that you were never told about managing blood sugar levels and reversing insulin resistance, then I'd love to invite you to check out my signature program, The Blood Sugar Fix. This is where I walk you through exactly what you need to do to lower your blood sugar, increase your energy, and achieve your healthiest self in as little as six weeks, in the easiest way possible. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.